my mom continues to defend Mondly, knowing very well the trauma that I've had to experience having this broken relationship with my dad, all because of they could not sort out their issues and they could not voice out the things that they hate. Mondly has literally only seen his child once. My child has seen his dad once. I call him, Silva literally says, when he sees his profile on WhatsApp, he calls him dad. And not bad, but not anything can dad. And now my child is at the point where he knows there's mama and papa. But where is papa? Why can't you even pick up your... And then my mom continued to defend him, all because he sends money. And I got beat up. My nail, lit oh, guys, nosebleeds, vinegar poured all over. Like, <laughs> my scalp literally, like, it hurts. My mom pulled me so hard by my head. And I'm so angry at my cousin for holding me back because I could not defend myself. I could not run away. I could not do anything because she was holding me back while everybody is kicking me and hitting me and pulling me by my hair. And this morning, my mother acts all nice towards me and my son. Why? Because she's continuing to manipulate me. She wants to put me through this abuse over and over. And I'm not going to be quiet about it. I'm not even going to be quiet about how shit Monty is. All because he said to me, I've been made to believe that because he's taking care of his child, he's a good dad, he's a good person. No, what he is shit. And what hurts me the most is they're going to continue to say, no, Mandy, you don't know how to say things that affect you in a nice way. Like, I am hurt, I am angry, I am depressed, I cannot even... <sighs> She thought I was sleeping and she made fun of the fact that I can't buy my contact lenses right now but what am I doing with the money for my contact lenses I'm supporting her and the family that she cannot take care of she's not willing to take care of it and then my dad continues wanting money from me like and then my aunt like I just oh my fucking god like I, and then people still expect me to be okay <coughs> not going to be okay and how do i raise my child in this situation i can't I... hi baba this is what he does he will send money fucking pennies coins to shut me up but no more why do abusers think they can compensate no fuck that and literally, I got sent cash sense e-wallets, same amount, to buy the Nando's that had been stolen from me. And he thinks that's enough. This is what you get for... No, 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 mama. This is what you get when you decide not to date a married man and be with somebody who's not married and have a child with them <laughs> they go fuck you up real bad continue being hoes yes even when i'm in pain i still have a sense of humor continue being hoes have babies with married men i'm sure they give more money for the i forgot the name for kids born out of wedlock with a person in wedlock Next thing, I'll be the most toxic wife or girlfriend or whatever God has in the books for me because oh. it's so hard for me to trust anybody. Like, I don't even really like making friends because I do not know people's intentions. And oh. I grew up seeing my mom and my dad fight all the time, and there would be people everywhere like <sighs> that's something that I told myself that I will never be in a relation an abusive relationship with a person like who hits me but with Kaya's dad like he was just not there emotionally and it was still a form of abuse like I cannot tolerate any pain 
Hmm. and hello guys welcome back to my channel now monley's baby mama umendi has accused him of being an absent father um and says 1500 trans per month is just coins it's not enough and monley should be doing more including helping her pay for an apartment hi i hear you on it again sharp you've caused me so much pain monley well i hope this works for you I just spoke about you on my Instagram, done with putting up fake heads. You are vile. Cool. Maybe you'll take me to cause for defamation, but honestly, I don't care. You are a horrible father. Be ashamed of yourself. I sent 1,500. It is what I have now. Molly F, you spend time with your son. You're hurting your son. He doesn't know you. And then she continues saying, I'm going to be strong at this point. I live anyway, but here, why am I still here? Molly refuses to help me pay for an apartment while I take care of our child. I am not able to focus on my work fully while raising a child by myself. My mom doesn't always help me. I don't get much time to be by myself and work on my many issues because I have little support. As me, why I'm crazy again, I'm just realizing my pain different. Keep making fun of me, my ancestors. Have your strength next time you touch water. If I want it, I could cook my way yo, but I leave that to both ancestors. It might not happen now, but listen, someone will drown. Okay. Don't get me angry because my tears and the prayer that follows, you will have to go to Lesotho Lakes for help. Next time you disrespect me, make sure I can't see your picture, lol. Also, my ancestors, Poganfene, they made me so strong that I can just find you randomly. Okay. I'm going through a lot of pain and oh go go know what I'm saying, please. Monty will always go through hard times. I love his other kids, so I'll ask forgive for them. But my ancestors are wild, yo. I have to pray so much that the anger I have is not put into the kids. Okay. Bro, Monty put me through so much pain, but I still want to protect his other kids. I'm going to talk with my water. If you're really hateful, you're going to get a stroke. So please don't bath. I'm really angry and being a water person, I might hurt you. The ones I've prophesied know my power. Bye-bye. Keep making fun. I've warned you. I'm going to deep water to pray. Please, if you know you did not mean to be a bitch, please pray. Ask for forgiveness. I've never been 100% about my gift on her. But help yourself because when I pray... Ask my ex-boyfriend, Huanyi or Scott. Nobody who has ever heard me has gone through life without asking for forgiveness. So I'll pray so hard that you remember every wrong you, you've done. I, I don't know why people keep threatening people with their ancestors and God as if like other people don't have ancestors or God. Honestly speaking, it's tiring. And this wishy wishy of I'm a prophet or I'm a Sangoma, I will deal with you in Dumbikali, or you know, that's just pure nonsense. If you wanted to call out your baby daddy, call out your baby daddy, and that is it. If you do it on social media, be ready for a backlash. And at first, I honestly did feel for her, but as I listened to it and as I read all of this nonsense she wrote, I don't know. Honestly speaking, 1,500 trans is a lot of money to take care of a child because at the end of the day, it's not only a father that has to maintain a child, but you as well. So 1,500 trans, add another 1,500 trans, that's 3K. 3K is enough for a child. A guy doesn't have to pay shit for you. Um, a guy doesn't have to help you with any um, anything else, especially with renting your apartment. That is total bullshit. I won't even lie um that's that's just pure gug unless if you guys are still together then you know yeah he can he can do it if he wants to but a guy doesn't have to pay shit for you you have to take care of you that's your responsibility and your parents responsibility it's no boyfriend's responsibility it's it's definitely no baby daddy's responsibility if the guy was your husband or whatever then yeah but come on this is just a baby daddy and he is sending you money um in regards with him not seeing his son that is obviously totally wrong but also we don't even know why he's not seeing his son is he not seeing his son because 
of your drama and so i don't i don't even want to comment much there only them to know why um Molly is a deadbeat or an absent father honestly speaking anyway do let me know what you think at the comment section down below numpumelelo was like was she not defending him a few months ago saying he's a good dad yeah man said like i don't understand she was even swearing other girls calling them defebe i was about to ask boasting that his girls must know that she's in his life and they are best friends i'm confused this one is confused maybe the guy moved on hence she's acting this way yazin bana babatu were being sworn as their mother's private part those two days now ki rescue 911 na fam lina ki i even thought maybe it was not her that life where she insulted all of us i remember hmm. so yeah man guys ugh, honestly speaking at first i really did feel for her but she started talking all nonsense and she sounded ridiculous talking about witchcraft guys if you're a witch just say i'm a witch okay if you are going to be bewitching people just say i'm going to be bewitching people don't use your pain to blackmail people whatever you put on the internet how people receive it it's totally up to them so i don't know what narrative she was trying to build but i, I you know i felt for her like i said in the beginning but as she went on and on and on i was like mm -mm, uh uh this is not um someone who's fighting for her child this is just someone who honestly sounds very bitter uh, talking about witchcraft don't enter the water because you might get a stroke um you will be followed by a shadow my ancestors will deal with you better pray ask for forgiveness Ow. and honestly another thing when she started talking about abuse i was like oh shit but also she was not referring to physical abuse. Mm -mm. She was referring to that 1,500 that monthly is sending her and calling it an abuse. How are guys going to do? What is abuse now? I guess people like playing with serious stuff, you know. And I don't know, man. I just feel like she is just blaming everyone about her misfortunes apart from herself and blaming her mom her aunties her dad everyone around her but herself so i as as guys honestly speaking sometimes you just need to take accountability and you know if you decide to make a baby no good this will be my responsibility because banna